Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down to Under, and today I'm going to be talking about Combat Arms Line of Sight. Now, the gameplay you've seen right now is from the Combat Arms Line of Sight closed beta for Brazil, but it's actually called a Line of Sight. The name changes across regions are fucked, but whatever. Today we're going to be talking about a theory that one of my viewers in my Twitch chat went and brought up. By the way, my live stream is twitch.tv slash undercover dudes if you want to go and check me out. But regardless, regardless, the guy in the Twitch chat, he was going and saying a bit of a theory about Combat Arms Line of Sight. Alright, so to go and set the scene, the first Combat Arms Line of Sight beta was about a year ago. And now it's 2016, and we've got basically no new information, no beta dates, no release dates, and everything is really in the dark. Now, if we go and take it back to 2015, at the tail end of the year, another company called Playpark went and published a game called Line of Sight, which is Combat Arms Line of Sight without the Combat Arms tag, and they did an open beta for it. A couple of days, and after that, no new information whatsoever. Everybody in the dark again. And now we've got the Brazil beta published by Level Up Games, and... That's really, really interactive. I've been keeping tabs on their Facebook page and like every day, four or five posts giving out keys. Like they're really connecting with the community. So I think that's going to be a really, really good start for them. Now, the next question is, how do all of these interconnect? Now, I've played in all three of these betas and I can say without a doubt, there is no significant difference between the first beta I played a year ago and the Brazil beta I played yesterday. The only little thing is a little tutorial that is basically shithouse quality anyway. The actual gameplay where you go around and, you know, shoot other people in, you know, a multiplayer environment. That's basically the same. Same map, same mode, same weapons, same everything, same abilities. So, what are we waiting for? The game is basically complete for launch. What are we waiting for? Well, my theory and the theory of the person in Twitch chat is that they want a global release. They want to go and hit line of sight on everybody at once. Instead of saying, okay, release it in Europe and then release it in Brazil and then release it in Asia. Let's hit everything at once and let's see what happens there. Now, the next question is, will Nexa North America go and pick up Combat Arms Live Sight? And to be perfectly honest, I don't think they will. And my reasoning is this. At the moment, Nexa ne North America has Combat Arms, Dirty Bomb, First Assault, and Lawbreakers listed as FPSs on their main site. First Assault is in Early Access. Lawbreakers is coming out, you know, mid this year. And to be perfectly honest, I don't think they will go and pick up a fifth. But the sad thing is, is that Line of Sight would probably do really, really well in North America because Call of Duty is really, really successful and Line of Sight simply feels like Combat Arms and Call of Duty had a baby together and it's free to play, so I don't know why people wouldn't go and hop onto it, but I'm the person that makes YouTube videos and they're the company, so, you know, what I say basically has next to no impact. And to go and finish off this video, I want to go and say that everything I've said in this video is simply me predicting what's going to go and happen. I don't have any extra information from Nexon. I don't have any insider sources. I'm simply going predicting what's going to go and happen given the information that everybody has readily access to. So, with all that said, I'm predicting it's going to be, you know, no North American release, but... They could completely backflip, do a North American lease. Fuck, give me Australian servers as well, wide around it. Just go completely extreme. And they could go and do that as well. So to be perfectly honest, this is some, simply a theory. And it could be, you know, half right. It could be completely wrong. It could be completely true. Who knows? I'm simply doing it for the sake of discussion. So hopefully you guys in, uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go and give it a like rating. But other than that, Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.